me how to build a business around my lifestyle. So adding people, quality people in certain positions in each business um, that gave me a lot of time back. Um, buying the apartments has given me a kind of a safety net that has helped me not have to work as many hours and as, as hard as I was running for so many years. And just, just building it, all of our teams with really good people has been yeah. the, probably the biggest key. So number one key if you're trying to build a business that supports your lifestyle, is the people. Is the people. And mm-hmm. hiring good A players, putting the right people in every seat in each business. Okay, so how about I go about hiring A players today? Like, I'm uh, telling you, like, I'm actually, you know, in the market potentially for a COO. Yeah. Right? So I'm telling you, Caleb, I'm looking to hire a COO. How would you counsel me? Yeah, so I would... You can't. You have to have a process, obviously, when you mm-hmm. hire someone, especially hiring someone at that level. Yeah. Um, I'm not a huge fan of like Indeed and hiring through that or any of the job sourcing. I, I like hiring a headhunter to go mm-hmm. find somebody because the best quality of person that you're probably going to find is already working somewhere else. They're not unemployed. Yeah. Um, so I like the headhunter process. Um, and let them go find you good quality candidates. But then it's still up to you to put right. them through a process to bring the right person on and then onboard them the right way too. Because mm. you might get the right person and then you might not be organized when you onboard them and they, like a COO type person, needs some. He doesn't want to come into complete chaos. Yeah. Well, whoever we hire is definitely going to be walking into chaos. So <laughs> that's just kind of the nature of the beast. So uh, in working with a headhunter, is there any parameters, any... Like, we have someone in-house right now that does our recruiting, and he absolutely refuses to make a job posting unless I give him a thought-out job description as well as some uh, key metrics that we're going to hold this person accountable for. It's like, man, like, how'd you work for me, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> but what, like, what is the core, uh, communication like with your uh, headhunter? Um, so I actually I have a COO now that mm-hmm. handles that. Yeah. Like, when we go to hire somebody, he provides that, or right. he provides it to me. And I just might take some notes Check and make some it. adjustments because we're not built to sit down and write out yeah. a three page job up description. Yeah. And that's not your personality. No. And that's why you've probably been putting it off for so long. <laughs> I have. Um, so, I mean, you need to find a good person in your organization to at least build out the template for you mm-hmm. and then let you just make, make the yeah. adjustments. Well, then what about the, the hiring process? Or you're talking about the, the screening process. So, you know, I was talking to someone earlier today and like, we're so concerned about how to find people, but not as many people put an emphasis on screening people out, making sure the wrong people don't get in. Yeah. So what do you guys do as far as making sure we're bringing the right people in and keeping the wrong people out? So I like to let them run through at least two interviews. That's with either one of my sales guys and then my COO first before they even talk to me Mm -hmm. because they need to get two yeses before they get to me. And most of the time, like those guys have been with me for so long. They know our culture. They know our core values. They, they can ask the right questions to see if that person yeah. fits. Yeah. Um, is there any particular uh, resources you like for recruiting or screening or any particular tools? You know, I, we haven't hired in so long. Mm-hmm. Um, that was just what we used to do, and we yeah. would just either bring in a headhunter or my COO was taking care I mean, of like, truthfully, um, you know, like, at least you'll go and meet with them. Like, I removed myself from even meeting with them because I'm just a rubber stamp. Like, <laughs> I just... Yeah. Like I, I, we have the expectations. We have the we use the PI. We use the interview questions, this and that. But like, if you make it past the two first two people, like, I'm not going to be the one to be. So like, yeah, it looks for me. Like, looks good to me. Yeah, I mean, I lo- I love the PI. Yeah. Nobody gets into our organization without doing the PI either. But right. I, now I'm not the pro at reading the PI. We've got another guy that we send it to, yeah. and he tells me, here's what you need to watch out for in that person. They're going to, this is how you manage them. This is what you can't do to manage them. Um, I, I love the PI piece to it. Yeah. 